What's going on everybody? It's Nate Matthews back again with another video. For those of y'all who've been wondering where I've been, man, I've been out here, man. Life done happened. Life, life done came at me with the oop dee boop boop But, you know, I've been handling it. I'm still here. You know, I'm coming back stronger. Still thugging it out. You feel me? You feel me? Hit a thumbs up on the video. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I do a lot of grooming reviews, vlogs, and stuff like that every now and then. Making stuff, embroidery. Check me out. Rock with me if y'all rocking with me. If not, thanks for at least clicking on this video. What I got for y'all today is one, two, three brand new products for grooming. One of them I showed you guys already, but I never showed you guys me actually using it in action. The other two I just picked up today. So we're going to figure that out and test it out, see how it works at the end of this video. By the way, if you guys are hearing my voice sounding a little bit different, it's because your boy's been out of commission for a while. I actually couldn't talk. That's one of the things that happened to me when I said life just life just came at me. You feel me? I uh, barely started getting my voice back like yesterday, so I didn't want to keep y'all waiting too long. But anyway, enough talking. Like I said, what we're going to do is go ahead and uh, end this profile. As y'all can see, we got some hair in the back right there. We got hair with the little curve and everything now, you know. I showed you guys. The little, um, or actually at this point, I don't think I showed you guys the tutorial, but I did show you guys the result of uh, how I put hair back on my head and everything. So again, I'm going to show you all real quick. Obviously, the hair is not there at this point in time, but it was there. What you guys are seeing, though, is my real hair. Can't get stuck in there. You feel me? So I do got enough hair to, you know, can it get stuck in the back? No, not that much in the back, can it? Yeah, there it is. Uh -uh -uh -uh. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got enough hair for the comb. To get stuck with the little comb, big comb, still combing it and everything like that. We got tired of this. I did that as a method just to try to show you guys, uh, for those of you who are, not, who are not comfortable being bald or whatever, or just wanted to try something else, you feel me? I uh, grew my hair out for a while. Um, I actually shaved my head, um, what? Three times? Well, we it's been three months. We three months into the into the year at this point in time in the recording of this video. So I cut my hair three times, and uh, it does grow in the middle, but might as well say it doesn't because this is my weak area, obviously. So it's got enough to fill it on the sides, enough to curve, line it up, and everything. My weak area went ahead and shaved it down. For those of you who want to see though, go ahead and see. We do got a little bit of follicles up there. I can't see what it's actually recording right now. So if y'all want to give me credit, if not, oh well. Uh, you know, as far as what I'm saying, like, does the hair grow? So I did have to shave it completely bald in this area right here to go ahead and apply the, uh, the glue and the hair and all that type of stuff to put the hairline back. But honestly, when I did that, um, I left it in for maybe, I did it a couple times actually. First time I left it in for like a week. Second time when I took it out, put it back in, left it in for like two weeks. Third time, put it, uh, took it out, put it back in, left it for a week and some change, you know, maybe closer to two weeks. But every time that I had it in, y'all, I just been rocking a hat. So I ain't even really been like feeling too confident with it. Even though you guys can see in the picture, it does look, you know, the hairline and everything, it was crispy. It did look nice. However, when I started taking pictures and going out, I did put a hat on because I ain't trying to be, you know, a catfish or whatever. I ain't trying to post a picture with a fresh hairline, get a whole bunch of likes, whole bunch of comments and everything like that of people thinking it's real then that might mess up my confidence you know like dang now everybody like me with the hair and the whoop de whoop so anyway so when i had the hair it was cool i showed it to people who i showed it to but honestly i just did it for a youtube video y'all did show a lot of love to the video y'all dropped comments y'all uh y'all got the views up and everything like that uh it didn't go it didn't go too crazy like i expected it to do but it did do more than uh my average video i would say at least in the uh the time span that it went as soon as i put the video up i asked y'all to like the video if y'all wanted to see more and everything like that and y'all did get the likes up so i do definitely appreciate that but i was told that if i didn't take it off i'm getting cut off by my lady she said no more unless i cut it off she said she met me bald she likes me bald. She wants me back bald. And she was tired of seeing this for sure. <laughs> but even when the hairline was in there, she didn't like that. She was kind of laughing and everything. Maybe I'll put uh, a little clip up of her thoughts on it, her quick thoughts on it. The first time I surprised her and just showed her, boom, I got hair because she never seen me with hair. She met me bald, you know, everything. So I'm good, confident with being bald. So anyway. Oh my God, my boy done got fresh, yes. Yes, you sexy daddy. <laughs> Woo! 
This shit just made my whole motherfucking day. <laughs> Y'all, I appreciate Nate's efforts, but I love his bald head. I fell in love with that bald head, and he need to bring that back. Because that's daddy, and that's <laughs> hobo. <laughs> What we're gonna do is use these right here. I think I showed you guys an unboxing of these. Um, I think I did a video actually fading. I used these to fade, you know, the beard into, uh, I was about to say a bald head, but uh, the procedure I did. So I used it to do a fade and everything like that. I faded the back at one point and everything. Um, but yeah, so now we're gonna be using the wall magic lips to go ahead and knock the hair down uh, as close as we can. Then we'll probably bust out a razor and, uh, you know, exfoliate the scalp and get it all the way knocked down, knocked down. So, again, hopefully my voice is not too irritating to y'all. I don't think it should be, but it probably is going to irritate me later because I really ain't supposed to be talking. So, the fact that I'm making this video for you guys and give you instruction instead of just music, thumbs up the video, man. Let's get to it, though. We're going to go ahead and use these wireless bad boys right here. And we're going to start with just uh, cutting the hair down. Or should I do something? Should I do something tricky? Should I, should I try to, to put a design in it or do something while I still got it real quick? Hmm. We're trying to decide. Or maybe I should just stop playing and just get it over with, right? So yeah. Back to the bar head we go. Lowest settings. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do the highest setting with no guard. And let's just go ahead and cut it. Back to the ball head, my boy. Y'all get to see a little clip of how these things work. Y'all know what I should do though. I should leave some in the back in case I want to grow a rat tail. As soon as y'all see the train start coming back where people get the, you know, the, the little rat tail with the little braid or a couple braids just in the back of the head. As soon as that comes out, y'all got to drop a comment and let me know. I already been told that, you know, they ain't going for it. They don't want me to get it. But it's something that I can fully do. You feel me? I can have the bar head on top, on the sides and everything. But I can have a braids in the back. You feel me? If y'all with that, if y'all think that's cool. Matter of fact, matter of fact, bro. I seen somebody in the store with it today. But I think it's for, y'all got to let me know. Because I don't know about different cultures and everything. But I seen a guy in the store today, actually. Um, and he had just one. It was just like one braid or something on the side. It wasn't even in the middle of his head. It was just in the back. He was bald everywhere else. But he had one braid. And it was just like coming down to like his shoulders or whatever. So if that's a cultural thing or something like that, y'all got to let me know. Um, but yeah, for the reason of me wanting to do something like this, I just want, you know. To grow some type of hair and a matter of fact now that i cut this off it looked kind of cool like this you feel me i don't need i don't need to i think we done matter of fact how how i'm looking at the thing all right yeah i gotta keep going all right so let's go ahead and grab our little mini mirror by the way um that little foldable three-fold mirror the reason i had to order that is because of the hair procedure i thought i was going to need it i was able to do the whole thing without it so you know back to this this all we need but let's get it man Maybe I should go. I should really leave a rat tail thing back there, huh? Nah, I ain't gonna do it this time. I ain't trying to get in trouble, but let me see. We're cleaning up as we go, man. I can't let too much of this hair get on the ground. Hopefully, y'all can see it, though. Are we in frame? We in frame? Alright, cool. We in frame. Let's get it. Oh, I gotta go against the grain because you see when I go with the grain, there leaves some hair there. We gotta go against the grain. There it is. All right, and what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna go ahead and brush these off just a little bit. And then we gotta remember, I told you it's no guard, but it was on the highest setting. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and knock it down low before we even finish. I just wanna see if these things can actually cut through a lot of hair. So we just knocked it down and we're gonna, we're gonna try to compare it. We're gonna see if we can see a difference when we have it on zero on the side and see if you can tell the difference from this. Also on this right here. Against the grain. Can we tell? I mean, yes and no. Uh, I'll let y'all be the judge. Can you guys tell? I can't really tell, regardless if it's on the lowest setting or the highest setting. But let's also see if we can get through the bolt right here. I'm pretty sure it can with ease. First, I ain't seen myself with hair in some years because once I started going bald or shaving it down bald, whatever. You... By the way, we're going to pause on that real quick because I don't remember the exact comment, but from what I just said, going bald, shaving bald, when I showed you guys in the previous video that I did like the hair reveal showing you that I can actually grow hair on the sides again, it grows on top too. Uh, matter of fact, now that I cut it, you can kind of see like a hairline right there. You can, if y'all can see that. So it does grow, it just doesn't grow as thick as the, thick as the rest. Um, but is there a difference between being bald by choice or what I do? I mean, I'm not bald by choice, but I am. Cause I, I think if the hairline is not gonna grow in sharp, you might as well cut it off, right? You know, if I can have a, a edge up right here, sharp in the back and everything, taper it down, do all that type of stuff. But then I gotta do the procedure to get the hair on top. If it's not really mine, I mean, I just shaved the whole thing off, right? So, I guess I am bald by choice. I don't know, y'all gotta let me know in the comments. What would y'all consider it? I'm bald by choice because my hair doesn't grow in thick and full the way I want it to. But there are some people with diseases such as like uh, alopecia, uh, where I guess nothing grows at all. So I don't have that problem, but I guess it is by choice, I don't know. But let's go ahead and continue. And I ain't gonna get too close because I'm gonna do the rest with like the razor. But let's see. I'm actually fairly surprised the way that my uh, my scalp is looking right now because I thought with me actually having hair on my head for three months that my head was gonna be like a different shade of color at this point, but it looks like it's all the same color. So that's pretty cool. I thought we was gonna have to, I was gonna have to show you guys how to get, you know, the same color skin tone all around. But even though it didn't happen to me, my quick answer I was gonna give to y'all anyway is to stop wearing hats all the time. If you stop wearing hats all the time and just letting the sun hit your face and not touching your scalp, then yeah, your face is gonna be darker and your head is gonna be all light, but you know, the only time, well, I used to, I guess that's too much. Anyway, I used to be a real big fan of hats. I used to wear hats all the time. Some people even said, they never said it during the time, but of course, but once I started shaving my head bald, they started saying, oh, that's probably the reason you went bald because you, you wear a hat too much, but I don't think that's it, trust me. I don't think that's the issue at all. But anyway, I used to be a real big fan of hats. I got a big old box of hats still to this day. And now that I have an embroidery machine and I can make, you know, hats, I actually digitized this and stitched this into the hat myself. Self, uh, you know, self promo plug. If y'all need any hats, any beanies, any t-shirts, anything, any design y'all got, send it to me. I can make a patch, I can stitch it out. We can do whatever, man. So let me know. Go to the website, neverdenyme.com. And anything grooming related while we're on the topic, grooming.neverdenyme.com. So where y'all can get these uh, trimmers, uh, clippers, any and every product I use, you know, combs, brushes, everything like that. Go to the website. Everything is over there, but enough talking. Let's go ahead and get to it or continue to. Did already line up my beard and everything, by the way, but I, now I'm just gonna have to fade it in. But 
lined up the beard, lined up the mustache, did everything earlier today. Then I had to do a store run to go get some more uh, products for today's video. Just make sure it's nice and even. Kind of going against the grain in every section here. I see it. I don't even see it cutting, but you definitely see it piling up. So it's cutting something. I don't hear it though. Ah, oh, damn. So I can definitely say that, uh, the way that it just snagged my bald skin, that is the reason. It didn't hurt, but hopefully it doesn't start bleeding or anything, but it definitely did snag my skin right there. That is the reason why I ended up returning. Uh, if you guys seen my review, maybe again, I'll put it in the cards or in the description. I did a review of the wall clipper called the Balding Clipper, and that was uh, promoted for people who, who are, I guess, are afraid to use a razor and stuff like that. Um, and just use trimmers to get your head bald and stuff like that. So it does give you, you know, a nice buzz cut, which it's supposed to do. But it's definitely not as good as a razor to me or anyone else who prefers actually to have a bald head. Because this is definitely not bald. I can still feel it. Y'all probably can't see nothing unless I zoom in. Y'all can still see the hair. Probably still see the hairline. You definitely still see it a lot on that side. And look, I got a little bump right there. That was hiding underneath the hair. And am I bleeding yet from the snag? Nah, but I think that's what happened right there. And that looks exactly like that one. So that's probably how I got that too. So yeah, that is the reason why, uh, even if they're promoted as balding clippers, why I do not prefer to use clippers to shave my head bald and like just be completely done. I'm using these today because I'm preparing uh, to shave it with a razor. If I would have just hit a razor on all that hair, it definitely would have worked, but it would have took a long time because the razor would have kept getting clogged over and over and over. Uh, it would have doled the blades out faster. And that's ultimately the same thing you're doing when you do it with a trimmer. Just doling the blades out, the more that you use this to shave hair instead of like just trimming stuff down. Um, you can also avoid getting your head snagged like I did. And for those of you who prefer to use these, cause I'm pretty sure these will get me even more bald than these, cause these are clippers, these are trimmers. If I use these, it's gonna shave even more of the hair off. But when I use these, if I use these for my head and then I go to try to line my beard up, it's not gonna be as sharp of a line. So I prefer not to do that as well, especially with the cost of these clippers. It's a lot cheaper, man, just to spend a couple bucks on a razor if you're gonna be having a bald head to me. It does a lot better job than these. But again, let's go ahead and continue. I think we're almost done, but let me just make sure we get it even. That way we don't have to do too much work with the razor itself. Snag it again. Yep, look, I got something right there that keeps snagging. So we're gonna skip that spot. And we completely forgot about this whole spot right here. We missed the whole spot. By the way, too, I think I'm going to edit this video real quick. So when I ask this question, I will, you know, I would like an answer. If y'all can give me an answer. What should I do for my voice, man? I lost my voice. I've been having hot water and lemon. I've been having cough drops. I've been using Vicks. I've been using cough medicine, stuff like that. Um, not saying none of those have worked um, or none of those haven't worked because definitely I was like, my voice was like completely mute. It was like squeaky. Uh, I was having to whisper and stuff to talk. So I'm definitely doing a lot better than I was just a couple days ago, maybe about a week ago actually, but I'm still not back to full, but it took me a minute to, you know, get back to where I'm at right now. So what is your guys' method for getting your voice back as fast as possible? Let me know what, what's your grandma's secret? What's the remedy? Let me know. By the way, when I was in the shower earlier, I did put shampoo and stuff in my hair, so my scalp should already be clean. It's not like I haven't been 
maintaining it for these couple months that I've been growing my hair back. Of course, I've been shampooing it, conditioning it, uh, especially during the times I told you I put the glue to apply the procedure, took the glue out. You got to put alcohol on there, dries your scalp. You got to re-moisturize. It's a, it, it's a process. So um, at the time of the recording of this video, I've already shot the video of showing y'all how I put hair and everything on my head. But I don't think I've made like the actual tutorial. I think I just showed you guys the result. Um, so yeah, I'll get to editing that. But I might actually upload this first. Um, but let me go ahead and clean the hair out the sink. Uh, we're going to rinse our head off just uh, one more time with some soap. And then we're going to get back to our two other products for the day. Or matter of fact, I'm going to save it for the next video. How about that? So this video today is just going to be all about this, right? Bam. The wall magic clip clippers getting us back right again after we went ahead and grew our hair out for three months again what you guys seen at the beginning of the video is not the full length of hair that i got within three months because i did shave my hair off three times within three months with the guard on so it wasn't that low but it knocked it back down to the size that it was at um to help blending in with the missing spot and stuff like that. So my hair does grow very fast. And that is also another reason why I decided to try that method of, uh, you know, having hair back. Because when you shave your head with a razor, if you want the smoothest, baldest, cleanest head, you're going to have to shave your head every day or at least once every two days. By the third day, you're going to need to be shaving your head again if you want it to look nice. So I figured, hey. Why I have to do so much maintenance if we could try something else real quick and just grow our hair back. So that helped me from having to shave so much, but guess what, baby? We back. Catch you on the next video. Peace.